There's no such thing in the world as absolute reality. Most of what they call real is actually fiction. What you think you see is only as real as your brain tells you it is. Then, what am I supposed to believe in? What am I going to leave behind when I'm through? We can tell other people about having faith. What we had faith in. What we found important enough to fight for. It's not whether you are right or wrong, but how much faith you are willing to have. That decides the future. The Patriots are a kind of ongoing fiction too, come to think of it. Mm -hmm. Listen, don't obsess over words so much. Find the meaning behind the words, then decide. You can find your own name. And your own future. Decide for myself? And whatever you choose will be you. I don't know if I can. I know you didn't have much in terms of choices this time. But everything you felt, thought about during this mission is yours. And what you decide to do with them is your choice. You mean start over? Yeah, a clean slate, a new name, new memories. Hmm. More countries beyond Asia are seeing new cases of the virus, even as China reports a slowdown of the deadly outbreak. In Europe today, Life Switzerland, Austria, and Croatia confirmed genes. their first cases of COVID-19, as it's being called, but South Korea and Italy have seen the biggest spikes in infections speech, outside of mainland music, China. The number of infections movies, worldwide now seen, tops 80,000. The rapid Anger, spread of coronavirus outside China over the past week is raising fears that These this could become a pandemic off. and that That's could have a huge off. impact on the economy. In fact, it already is. Market volatility continued today we after to U.S. stocks saw, saw their sharpest drop yesterday in two years. In New York, the Dow plunged. Take a look at that number, nearly 900 points today. And in Toronto, the, the TSX lost to close to 400 with. points. That sell-off follows warnings from major companies the that the coronavirus is hurting their bottom line. Today, here at home, Air Canada extended its suspensions of flights between Canada and mainland China beyond February until April. So what does all this economic fallout mean for you?